What's up, guys? It's me, Mopar Matt. Um, coming to you with a rare video from inside of my bedroom. Um, if you've been paying attention to what I posted up on Instagram, if you're following me on there, or you saw me mention it on my uh, Facebook page, um, what you call it? I had an absolute blast at the swap meet yesterday. Um, and uh, let me just tell you guys, I have got some awesome stuff to show you. Um, let me just grab one thing. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, but first, I want to show you guys a very nice little store haul. Um, I went to a Walmart the day before the swap meet and I found me a few things that I had not seen in a, uh, uh, most of it I had not seen at all. Um, first off, and forgive the poor lighting, and I'm sure you can also tell I'm a little bit under the weather right now, but check that bad boy out. First time I had ever seen this one, so you better believe I snapped that right up. Then, <clears throat> I found this guy. I had to crack the first one I got. So, I had to replace it as part of my collection. And I found it. Next up, I ran into a uh, picked through H-Case dump bin. And, of course... No Super Treasure Hunt error cars or Super Treasure Hunts. But, I did find about six of these guys, the regulars, for that case. Um, <clears throat> I picked up one for myself because I kind of think this one looks cool in this color. But also, um, I also picked up one for my niece and she absolutely loved it. Next, I finally found me the red Camaro on the card I do want to keep in my collection. So that Target exclusive card, like I said in that in that particular video, um I really don't care for that Target exclusive card, so I'm gonna crack it. Uh next up found me this killer 65 GTO. Gotta love it. Next up, <clears throat> I got me the red 63 Chevy 2. Very nice little car. Didn't find any color vari uh, any uh, color variations on that, as far as one being darker than the other. And I had to grab me this. Love this car. Love that dark purple. Had to grab me this car. And then comes the best part of the entire store run. Um, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this particular set to hit my Walmart. And I had not seen it. And I it finally showed up and the only car I don't have of this set oh well I didn't have of this, of the, of this set oh, excuse me after the store run was the Camaro Z28 but you might just happen to be seeing that later but anywho I'm not gonna show them all you guys have seen all these already but yeah, finally got me my uh, Stars and Stripes 10 car set. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not going to show them all. Um, but there was 
onto the swap meet, um, there was one of the Stars and Stripes set vehicles. One of them I wanted to crack open. So, um, I was able to find a good, honest vendor at the swap meet. And he gave me this bad boy. The second one. So, yeah, you better believe this one get cracked. You better believe that. Um, and then, like I hinted, there's the Camaro Z28. I now have my full set of the Stars and Stripes. There was a guy there. Um, he had a full set on a uh, sheet of cardboard all wrapped up with uh, like basically saran wrap and uh, he wanted eighty dollars for the ten car set I was like uh, no even if I needed it uh, no but <laughs> here's where things start getting good um, as far as the swap meet funds um, it's no secret I'm a John Force Racing fan when it comes to an HRA drag racing. And I was able to find this guy. His, uh, 1993 Oldsmobile funny car in a 164th scale. And this year, when I go to the big nationals, at Raceway Park, I'm going to have him sign the back of the package. Couldn't resist that. Another one I couldn't resist was this guy. All chromed out, Bel Air convertible, Hot Wheels Classics from 2006. Oh yeah, everybody knows I love my 57 Bel Airs. Then, another Hot Wheels Classics from 07. Um, of course, me being the Mopar guy, I had to grab this one. That, that metallic red is sick. Unfortunately, he didn't have another one because, man, I'm fighting the urge to crack this bad boy. Uh, uh, let's see. The, the next part of this video, I got to get staged up here real quick. Uh, okay, and uh, a while back, if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you, um, you saw me show... A 63 split window Corvette from the Muscle Machines series um, commemorating September 11th, 2001. And you heard me explain why I wanted that set so bad. Um, well, I hit a, I hit, I hit the jackpot as far as that set is concerned. Um, according to all my researching that I could do, it was a six car set and I only found the 63 Corvette that one swap meet was last year or sometime well I went crazy 69 Camaro 70 Cuda Forty one Willie's Coop, sixty nine Chevelle, and last but not least, sixty six Pontiac GTO. I have completed the six car set that has September eleventh, two thousand one on the cards. Awesome. Needless to say, none of those are ever, ever being cracked open. Oh. 
Um, but the best muscle machines I found, at least as far as I'm concerned, um, is one that I I know. Thanks to looking around on eBay, it's not worth a whole hell of a lot, but it, it looks pretty damn cool, if you ask me. There you go. Check that out. The Raw. Yeah, I know it's not insanely valuable, but it's okay. I'll take it. Um, There are two other things I did purchase. Besides the last four things I want to show you. Um, those two items I cannot show on video because they're destined uh, to be part of somebody's box. And I don't want to give away any surprises. But first off, um, let's see, which one is this? I got a couple of cars here very carefully rolled up in paper towels um, because I need to give a shout out to a gentleman hopefully he's gonna see this video um, I ran into a guy and uh, me and him started a nice conversation and turns out he's a pretty darn good customer. Uh, he's a really good customizer. Um, and uh, I ended up buying a couple of his pieces. Uh, because I just thought they looked so cool. So uh, big shout out to you Rick. Um, from uh, Rick's Cars and 164th. Shout out to you buddy. Um, excellent work, man, excellent work. Once I got time to study these things up close and in person, um, the first one I'm going to show that this gentleman made is, um, the Chevelle, um, delivery from the, um, from the candy bar set. You guys might remember it. I believe it was the Three Musketeers car in silver. This guy, Rick, did an awesome job turning that car into a back windowless El Camino. Check this out. There you go. Check that out. And look how good he does his... Uh, Taillight work. I mean, he, he his his uh, all his detail work is spot on. Even got black in the grill, which I'm gonna have to try to learn how to do that. I'm gonna have to learn try to learn how to copy that. I'm gonna have to play around with that. But as you can see, back window was El Camino out of a Chevelle delivery. From the candy bar set. Um, next up is something you guys might recognize that those of you who have watched my videos for a long time might actually recognize because I tried to emulate this particular car with a custom which I still own and uh, the only thing I was really missing was the um, besides a cool set of wheels, was the decals for the doors. Well, this man, this guy Rick, made the decals for the doors and also made decals for the stripes. Check this out. There you go. Check the sick wheels he put on it too. Totally awesome, man. There goes his taillight detailing, painted the rear bumper, got the turn signal perfect, I mean, got the blacked out grill, front bumper all painted up, this, this guy does great work, I am telling you guys, um, 
and I don't know if this car came this way or not, but let's see if I can get get it with light on it. I can't, but yeah, you can see the engine there. I don't know if it came painted like that or he has a really, really small paintbrush. Um, but awesome work, Rick. Um, he does have a YouTube channel, and I recommend you guys uh, follow, uh, subscribe to this guy. Uh, his YouTube channel is Ricky2400. I will uh, put a blurb in, on the bottom there um, with his uh, YouTube channel. And he also has a Facebook page, Rick's Cars in 164th. I'll put another little blurb on the bottom of the screen. Um, uh, almost down to the last car I'm willing to show you um, that I found. Um, some of you may recognize this next piece as something that I have in my childhood display case, or should I say childhood display tackle box, out of my collection that that's normally in my studio room. And the only reason I bought this particular piece is because I have never been able to find one in such good shape. Check it out. There you go. 79 original black wall with one little one tiny flea bite on the roof there other than that this car is in absolutely immaculate condition so for the hair that's right there <laughs> but I can take that off check it out guys is that is that awesome or what um and last <laughs> but not least, by far the biggest find that I got from the swap meet. Um, you guys saw in my for sale videos how I was posting up a bunch of uh, of all my Hess trucks, and uh, if you if you follow me on Instagram. You probably saw this item already because um, for the longest time I have been wanting to get the one from the year I was born which is the 1981 Hess truck training van um, and I finally found one that wasn't three hundred fifty dollars on eBay. Um, uh, I had to haggle with the guy a little bit, and it's by far the coolest thing I can say I've pers per me personally can say that I've ever found at a swap meet. So, without much further ado, there you go. Check it. out out I mean apart from some all too expectable yellowing around the ed the fine edges check out how good a condition this thing is in and uh, I haven't tried it yet as far as turning it on because the battery compartment is clear there is no batteries in this thing. But even the side door opens. Is that awesome or what? To me, this is nothing short of a grail piece. And it is going to be an item that I'm going to cherish and never, ever, 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 ever get rid of. So, there it is one last time. 
gotta love it. At least I do. <laughs> and I sure as heck do love it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically my haul from the swap meet and the store the day before the swap meet. Um, be on the lookout for some nice uh, projects for me in the near future. Um, oh, that's right. <laughs> Here's something you guys need to see. Now, everyone is aware of my uh, Project Goliath. And I showed in my last video the, um, the front half or the front one third the, and the back one third of this beast. Well, it's completely together now. Um, needless to say, extremely far from being done, but it is together. And <laughs> let me just say, I hope y'all are seriously ready for this bad boy. Wow, there you go. Look at that size of that bad boy. Just about seven and one quarter inches long. Boom! Sorry, Gogo. -Go. Had to do it. Yeah, it's far from perfect. But you know what? I ain't worried none. I'm keeping it. I ain't never giving it away. So, I had to show that to you guys. Um, Hold on a second, guys. <clears throat> That's better. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you to all everyone who's been sticking with me. I know the videos are almost twenty three minutes now. Thank you for sticking sticking with me through the whole video. And once again, big shout out to you, Rick. Um. I look forward to seeing you at the fall swap meet if you go there. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.